believe me, you're always there. Your hope is so amazing, nothing can compare. You're in the deepest waters on the mountain peaks. You're with me every day, and you never go away. Cause your love is wilder than the wildest sea Your love is kind and it looks after me And your love is gentle, it's all I'll ever need You are the king of all things, old and new you're always there beside me when I call on you Your spirit lives inside me, it brings me joy There's no need to be frightened Cause you're always in control Cause your love is wilder than the wildest sea Your love is kind and it looks after me and your love is gentle, it's all I'll ever need No love is wilder, no love is stronger No love is like your love for me No love is wilder, no love is stronger No love is like your love for me and no love is wilder, no love is stronger, no love is like your love for me. Singing, no love is wilder, no love is stronger, no love is like the love you have. Cause your love is wilder than the wildest sea. Your love is kind and it looks after me. And your love is gentle, it's all I'll ever is wilder than the wildest sea Your love is kind and it looks after me And your love is gentle It's all I'll ever Your love is gentle It's all I'll ever Your love is gentle It's all I'll ever need Hi guys, welcome to St Paul's Family Worship It's so great that you've joined us online today Maybe you've just started your summer holidays or maybe you've only got a couple more days to go until they start. It's very exciting, isn't it? And I hope it's sunny where you are. We have loads of fun today. We've got Lucy from St. Melitus talking to us about a girl called Lydia. And we're going to have our puppets and actions and songs. And it's going to be so fun. Shall we pray, though, before we do that? Yeah, Lord, I thank you that we get to be together online today. I just pray that we'd have loads of fun as we worship you and do our actions. Amen. All right, guys, get up and we're going to do our songs.
Raffi, <laughs> what's wrong? Are you alright? Oh, Raffi, oh, what is it? Why are you crying? Oh, oh Jack. What? I'm so upset because. Uh, <laughs> Raffi, because, what's wrong? No, because Colin and Zuma have to self isolate and we can't play games together. Oh, Raffi, <laughs> that sucks, doesn't it? Oh, come here, Raffi. Oh, oh Jack. It's going to be okay. Well, you know what? I think I might have something that will cheer you up, okay? What, Jack? Look what I've got. It is a picture oh. of Zuma and Colin. Oh, they're, yeah. my they're oh. here. Look. Look. Oh. Zuma and Colin in person oh. on paper. Oh, Even that's better nice, than but, Zuma. Well, yeah, but they're not here, are they? I can't play games with them and run around. <laughs> no, they're not, are they, Ruffy? Yeah, it's a bit sad, isn't it? Oh. Oh, well, I'm all out of ideas, boys, because I don't know what to do. Oh, Ruffy, yeah. how am I going to make you happy? Oh, I oh my know. gosh, I got a text. You got a text? Yeah, guess who it's from. Um, 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 um Tamlin? Not from Tamlin, it's um, in the Puppets group chat. Oh, wow, I love that group chat. We have so much fun and laughs. I know, it looks great fun. <laughs> well, do you want me to read you your text, Ruffy? Uh, Yes, please, Jack. Okay, it, it says, Hey, Ruffy, we miss you so, so much whilst we have to self-isolate. But don't be too sad because it's almost the summer holidays. And then we can go on holiday together with our families. Oh. Sending lots of love from Colin and Zuma. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah. so good. That's so oh. nice, isn't it, Ruffy? That makes me so much better because even though I'm sad now, I can have so much fun. <laughs> yeah, you can, can't you? Because it's almost the holidays. Yeah. Yeah, are you happy now, Ruffy? Oh, so much happier. Yeah, oh, great. Thanks, Jack. Well, I think we can watch our saddleback now, okay? Oh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right, yeah, hit it. Yeah. Slapstick Theater. Lydia. This is Lydia, Hello. who worshipped God and was a dealer in purple cloth. One day, Lydia was with a group of women by a river. Oh, hey. Paul and Silas came and started speaking to the women. As she listened to them, God helped her to understand and believe in what they were saying. She and her whole household were baptized. Lydia asked Paul and Silas to come and stay in her home. Okay. Paul and Silas stayed with Lydia many times as she always opened her home to them. Hi everyone. So I wonder if you know anyone who's been baptized. Do you know what that means? We just saw it in our story, didn't we? So my son, about two years ago, Joshua, when he was 12 going on 13, he decided he wanted to get baptised because, like in our story with Lydia, he had chosen to follow Jesus. He wants to spend his life trusting Jesus for all that he does in his life and follow him. So he got baptised in church and a picture's come up on the screen, you can see of him. And he went under the water and came back and that was a symbol that he was giving his life to Jesus. So we're going to think more about that in a moment. But first, do you like this? What colour is it, everyone? It's purple. Purple's quite a big colour in our house. It's one of my favourite colours. Lydia, in our story, she was big on purple, wasn't she? In the story just had, she was someone who made purple cloth. Now, I've got a little fact for you, actually, that I learnt from preparing for today. So Lydia was a businesswoman, OK? So if it was nowadays, she probably would be like the boss of a great big designer clothes company and like she would have like all the she'd have be the boss of all the people there and she'd pay them and they'd all make really expensive clothes but back in Jesus day it wasn't quite like that but she was a businesswoman who made purple cloth and purple was important because purple was the most expensive cloth and did you know this is just a random little fact to tell you they made it purple I'm gonna just check I haven't got it wrong the reason it was costly and was purple was because you had to get the dye for the purple from shellfish. Who knew? How random is that? So they had to catch their shellfish. Anyway, let's think a bit more about Lydia, apart from the fact that she had purple cloth. Lydia was someone who, she actually worshipped God already. She was like you and I. She went to church. She worshipped God. But she didn't know who Jesus was. She had no idea. And then Paul and his friends come, Silas and Timothy and Luke and some others, and they were a word beginning with M. Can you remember? 
Tamlin told us, didn't she? They were missionaries. Can you remember what that means when Tamlin told us? So missionaries travel wherever God wants them to go to tell people about Jesus. And Paul and Silas and his friends, they traveled to somewhere called Macedonia, which is in Europe. Well, who else is in Europe? We are. We're in England, aren't we? And England is in Europe. And that was the first time ever that, oh, my thing's falling over. First time ever that anyone had heard about Jesus in Europe and they told the Jesus that they told the good news of Jesus so it's if you think of all the Euro 2020 teams all the different countries they're all in Europe and that was the first time anyone in Europe heard about Jesus they went down to a river to pray didn't they and they found Lydia and so Paul began talking to Lydia and tell her all about Jesus how Jesus was God's son, how he died for her, how he loves her and he rose again and he's alive and that she can know him by the Holy Spirit like we can. She believed him. She was like, I want to know Jesus. So she went straight away. I want to be a Christian and got baptized like my son Joshua. Because when Jesus was buried and he died and he, he died, he died and rose again, when he was buried, he rose again, didn't he? When they go in the water in baptism, we remember Jesus dying and coming back to life. And that's like us. You go in the water and you come up. And it's to remind us that we are new in Jesus, that we can follow Jesus and that Jesus is alive and he's with us. So Lydia and all of the people in the house were baptized that day. But what can we learn about Lydia? What do you think for today? What I love about this story is usually we hear about thousands came to know Jesus and there were 5,000 and there was, a, this is about one person. Lydia was just a businesswoman. She wasn't the poorest of the poor. She wasn't the richest, rich, just a normal person. And she found out about Jesus and Jesus made a difference. God wants us to share the good news too. And like, what can we learn from Lydia? We can open our hearts to Jesus like Lydia did. We can choose to trust Jesus with our lives. Whether we've known Jesus before or we've never known him, we can give our lives to Jesus like Lydia. So that's how we can be like Lydia. How can we be like Paul and his friends? We can share the love of Jesus too. The reason everyone in the world has the chance to know Jesus is because people share about Jesus and we can do that too. What does that mean? It means sharing his love. It means praying for our friends, telling people about Jesus and loving them like Jesus would. So why don't we pray now, guys? Let's close our eyes. It's a bit noisy where I am. Hopefully it's a bit quieter where you are. Maybe you want to hold your hands out like you're receiving a present. Let's pray. We're just going to ask Jesus to come now. Jesus, will you come and speak to and touch by your Holy Spirit everyone watching, whether they're a child or a grown-up, Lord Jesus, everyone watching this. And like Lydia, we can make a choice to open our hearts to him. Jesus, will you open our hearts to you? Maybe you want to just say to Jesus again, I want to trust you and I want you as my special friend. You may have never done that before and that's okay, you can do it now. I'll say something and you can repeat it if you want to. Say, Jesus, I want to follow you. I want you to be my special friend. Come, Lord Jesus. I pray everyone watching will know your love for them today. And as we think of Paul and Silas in the story, Jesus, will you show us, will you speak to everyone watching now? Will you speak to everyone and tell them who, what friend this week they can share the love of Jesus with? What friend can they pray for this week? Will you say a name for them? So whatever name comes to mind, you choose this week to pray for that person and to love that person. Amen. Take care, guys. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper, and He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe, and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me, and He's loved me, since before the world began.
Okay guys, so it's our memory verse time and this week it comes from Romans 10 verse 17 and you're going to read along with me and then some words are going to disappear, okay? So it goes, so faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Okay, now some words are going to disappear and I'm going to try and remember it, okay? Right, let's go for it. So faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Okay, I think I can do it. Now we're going to do a blank one, all right? Let's see if I can remember it. So it goes, so faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Romans 10 verse 17. All right, I think I've remembered it. See if you guys can do the same. Again, how wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Trust the Lord. Okay guys, so we are coming to the end of our time together, which is sad, but we have something exciting. We've got new wine breaks out in the summer. So that is the 29th of July to the 3rd of August. And we're gonna be having a kids club at St. Melitus Church. So go on our website and there'll be more details and sign ups and it's just gonna be so much fun for the summer. But don't worry if you're on holiday, we'll be praying for you guys and yeah, just have the best summer holiday. All right, see you soon guys, bye.